Hi everybody, today I'm going to take pictures of these sunglasses and hopefully in a unique and interesting way, so stick with me. So today I'm going to take pictures of these red sunglasses right here. I bought these to wear, but before I wear them I wanted to take a nice photograph of them in the studio. Besides having these laying around, I've also got some uh, fake prickly pear cactuses that I spray painted red for another project for a client of mine. Uh, several months ago, I shot some hair care products called Prickly Pear Paradise for the main choice hair care products. Um, I really like the image, but because I have so many images of hair care products in my portfolio so far, I thought they would be an interesting prop to pair along with these sunglasses in an image. First off, I'm going to levitate these sunglasses in the scene, and then I'm going to place the prickly pears around the sunglasses, uh, and then I'll start working on the lighting. So I've got three points of fishing line attached to my sunglasses. Normally I like to use wire, but in this case, since there's so much in the background, I want to sort of avoid uh, having to retouch up too much stuff around the sunglasses, especially when I get to the prickly pear cactus area. Um, I attached the uh, fishing line using a regular fisherman's knot. Uh, if you can't see how I did it in my video, um, look up online. It's it's relatively easy and I'm sure there's a lot of people that can show you how to do it better than I can. So now I'm going to levitate this in the scene and adjust the camera height and then start working on the composition of the prickly pears around the glasses. One of the reasons I don't like using fishing line is because um, the glasses will shake a lot more than I like. Um, if I'm focus stacking, that can be a problem. Sometimes what I'll do is I'll tie a second or, or third or fourth, fifth line to the glasses and then tape it down to the table so that it doesn't shake quite as much. This is really helpful if you're doing sort of a splash with sunglasses or something that's particularly shaky. Uh, hopefully I won't need to do that in this situation, but it's always an option if I need to.
dialed in the composition close to where I like it. One of the things I did is I used uh, Live View and Capture One to help me dial in the composition a lot quicker. It's a lot easier than going back and forth between the camera and the set and the camera and the set. That way I can just look at the uh, computer, see where everything's laying in the set, and just move it very quickly. Uh, I switched a lot of the cactuses around in the scene. I took the small cactus out of the pot and uh, placed it as a foreground element. I moved the mid-sized cactus into one side and the larger cactus on the other. One of the things I did is I left a very large gap in the top left corner to add a background light of some sort. I'll either gradate a light off of the background or I might try to do a bare bulb solar flare kind of look and add a really sort of harsh light to act as sort of a sun element in the scene. I like the composition as it is so far, but as I work on the lighting, I'll dial in the composition as well as the lighting. I think I've got the lights set basically where I want them to be. I've got the background light as a bare bulb light in the top left corner of the frame. I'll probably spend quite a bit of time dialing in the brightness and where I want that light to be, as well as controlling a lot of the spill in the scene. The other light is behind a diffusion panel, which I'm going to use to create a gradiated light on the front lenses of the glasses. If I can't get both lenses exactly where I want it, I might break it up into two shots, one for the front lens and one for the back lens, and then composite the two of them together in Photoshop, but we'll see how it goes. I just wrapped doing the focus stack for this image and I've made quite a few changes since the last time I spoke uh, and I wanted to go through those uh, one at a time. First off, I added a strip box on one side. I did that to create a gradiated light on the side of the glasses where the side meets the lens of the glasses. Um, the way that it worked is that I've got now a nice gradiated light that hits the logo on the side of the glasses and then uh, fades to black towards the back end. The other thing I did is that I ended up changing the set. I wasn't sure I liked the exposed, exposed bulb in the image, so I switched it around and did a gradiated light off the background. And then to replace the harsh light that I had had from the exposed bulb, I put another light with a, a reflector and a grid in the scene. I ended up really not liking the gradiated light on the background. Uh, but I really liked the reflector with the grid, creating the extra highlights it did on the uh, elements in the frame. So I switched the background light back around into the exposed bulb again, and I just kept the reflector and the grid in the scene. I also added a bounce card in the front to give a little bit of light on the front piece of cactus as well as adding a bounce card in the back to give a little bit of light on one of the back cactuses as well. The last thing I had to resolve was that there was a very bright highlight on the edge rim of the pot on the uh, left hand side of the frame and I needed to break up that light somehow. I tried to use a polarizer to get rid of the highlight. I tried to um, lean the pot away from the frame to get rid of the highlight, but I thought it looked a little bit odd. And in the end, I decided I really just needed to break up the 
uh, smoothness of the uh, edge of the pot. What I ended up doing was going downstairs in my kitchen and getting some flaxseed and just sprinkling it on the edge of the pot. What that did is it broke up that um, shiny surface and created a nice texture along the edge. What I'll have to do in Photoshop is fix the color of the flaxseed that's on the pot and change it to more of a red, but that's not going to be too much of a problem at all. What I like to do is do a walkthrough of the scene and just sort of show you all the little things that I've done uh, in detail. This is how I focus deck my images. I just put a couple pieces of masking tape on my lens. I mark an in point and an out point, and I try to get as many shots in between those two as I possibly can. With this particular image, I shot at a fairly shallow aperture, I think 5.6, so I could create as much of a drop-off in focus between the foreground and background elements and the glasses themselves. Ignore the fact that this is a silver reflective card. I just used the white side of this card to bounce a little bit of light into this front piece of cactus right here. With this side light, I ended up not needing a, a second image to composite into the glasses. The, um, between the background lights and this light right here, it created a nice gradated light from the front to the back of the glasses lenses. So it worked out really quite nicely. This is that last minute add-on light that I had. It's just a reflector with a 40 degree grid and it created a lot of nice highlights on the cactuses. This is my back bul bare bulb light. Um, I don't normally shoot with a bare bulb, obviously, uh, so this was sort of a learning experience for me. I did learn that if you're putting a bare bulb in the image, you really want just a, the little diffusion ball in the frame, just barely. It creates a nice semi-circle um, light. If you get any metal or any black, it will either create a very bright highlight that will throw off the shape of the uh, highlight, or it will create a little bit of a shadow that will also throw off the overall shape. But if you get just the edge of the bulb in there and just that similar circle, it, the light will create a nice circle and then it will radiate nicely out from there. So this is the background cactus that I created my goofy flaxseed solution to the problem. So as you can see, this right here is really quite shiny. Um, and there was a really bright highlight on this area right here. So I sprinkled a little bit of flaxseed on this to break up that texture. It worked really quite nice. All I have to do now is to color correct this area in Photoshop, which won't be that hard at all. This is just a reflective card to bounce a little bit of light into this back cactus right here. And these are the little clamps that I use to hold the fishing line in place um, for the glasses. It worked really quite nicely. I was able to pull and push on the fishing line to lower and raise different parts of the um, sunglasses. Also, because I put it on um, a grip arm onto this this part that turns into a circle, I was actually able to rotate this and rotate the whole glasses without anything moving at all. So this image definitely evolved from being uh, a two light setup to being uh, four lights and a couple of reflector cards and a few other things as well. Um, but I think the image came out really nicely in the end. Here's what the final image looks like after all the retouching. Thanks so much for watching this video. Have a great day.